and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my July budget clothes. Uh, I am film, filming this a little bit early but I don't plan on making any purchases and if I do I'll just roll them over onto August. So let me take my little clip out. So this is the monthly view. I am just going to quickly grab my no spend stickers so that I can pop them down. I'm not sure... No, I didn't put them back in there. They will be in my little book here from Little Thought Store. Here they're here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pop down my little no spend stickers on these days. How have your month how has your month been? Have you overspent? Have you underspent? How has your budget been? been going this month i would love for you to tell me down below in the comments because things happen if you went over budget that's life and you just need to get back on it and try harder next month to be a little bit more stingy with your money i know that i have to be concerning stickers and my allowance i went over in quite a lot of categories this month so next month i'm going to try really hard to stay within my budget so the first thing i just have to do here if you can see my epidemic sound which is the music i get for my videos did come out so i'm going to tick that before we flip over so i have already filled out my weekly check-in for week four. If you did not see that video, I'll leave it in the cards up above. But let's get started in closing out our budget. So as you can see, I have my little commission sticky note from the body shop. So I'm going to add all of that up. So let's add it all up and get our total. So we had £47.56 on the 5th plus £80.30. I did make a lot of mistakes. I've tried to correct it on the 17th and £8.11 on the 24th. So altogether, my commission for this month was £135.80. So let's pop that in there. So £135.80. My actual for my work was... 1671.22. So it's a plus of 22 pence here. And then I never expect anything from the body shop just because I don't know how much time I'll get during the month to do it. So let's add these up. So 1671.22. Six seven one point two two add one hundred and thirty five pounds eighty. That means my total for the month was one thousand eight hundred and seven pounds and two pence, and the total that I didn't account for was one hundred and thirty six pounds and two pence. Super. I'm just going to zoom you in. A little bit so you can see it a little bit better so let's start with our expenses so my rent stayed the same so i'm just gonna put a line on the ones that i know are fixed they don't change my phone bill was 34 pounds i know that i said i was a little bit unsure but i managed to do that so that is absolutely fine next we have allowance so let's get my little body shop book out. I'm going to flip to my allowance section because in my monthly I, well I guess I could do it from here. So let's check our allowance. I'm not going to count any food but just from my allowance section. So stitch fix is from my allowance. So that's £58.95. pence. Also Primark was in my allowance. That's £56.50. Uh, Sheen was in my allowance, that's £42.61 and that is that for allowance out, without food. So I spent £156, £158 sorry, and £6. So I did go over in that category. Let me just grab my red pen. So I only budgeted myself £120. 
so I went over by £38 and sixpence, which is not the best. So let's track our food. So we've got Chinese for £4.90. Uh, McDonald's for £9.07. We have on this side, McDonald's again for £11.87. McDonald's is just my favourite fast food, if you have not already been able to tell. And then we had Asda for £13.20. So that all came to £39.04. Thirty-nine and four pence, and that means that I was under budget by ninety-six pence, which I guess is better than nothing. Next, we have our petrol allowance. I know I was over for this one because I only made one, and that was thirty-one pounds and fifty-six pence. So. 31.56 so I did go over by £1.56 next we have my stickers I know I always go over budget on that one so let's just add them all up so we've got Bella Planella for £4.50 we've got Lily Blossom Designs for £10 and then over here we've got a lot we've got Van Sticky for £28.44 Little Thought Store for £28. Wendy Prince for 11 We've got a little D-stash I did for 7 Another D-stash for £6.70. Bella Planella, that was her sale for £29.50. Got Penny Planetti for £11.50. And Paper Sheet Plans for £8.52. <laughs> So altogether, I spent £145.16. So again, I'm way over budget. 45 So I was over budget by £25.16. And, and all of this should be the same as here. So, yeah, 25 pounds £1.56 and £37.10, but that's taking away. So, if I, for allowance, it says I'm £37.10, but if I do £38.06 take away, are £96, yeah, that works out. So, we're on track right now. And then spending is my purple stickers. So, let's add them up. So, we had Disney. For £10, Redbubble for £6.51, we had a gift that I bought for 9 some books for 7 we also had a little scrunchie that I bought for £3.50 and a little gift that I bought from a girl who has her own business here where I stay for £5. So I spent £41.01, £1, which is the only category that I am way under budget for so I am under budget for that so if I do 80 take away 41 pounds and one pence by 38 pounds and 99 pence I had no unbudgeted expenses which is absolutely super so let's add all of my actual up and get and get the total. So we have rent, council tax, the money I put into my joint account, my phone bill, help to buy, Twinkle, which is my teacher subscription, uh, my car insurance, I have that with Thomas, epidemic sound, and then we have allowance. Six pence. And then we have food, £39.04. Petrol, £31.56. Stickers, £145.16. And then spending is £41.01. So 
you can tell that we are over budget so spent £1,614.59 so we are over budget by £24.83 Let's check if, if, but even though we're over budget, I'm still under budget when I take into account my income. So let's see how much savings I actually had left. I thought I would have £81, but let's double check. So 1807.02, take away 1614.59. So I'm actually left with 192.43 pence. So this is where I'm saying this, this number, my body shop amount takes, has a big play and I find under or over budget at the end. So even though I was over budget in all these categories, I think what I do is I under budget. I don't give myself enough for these categories as a buffer because I know that I like to overspend. So my actual savings for this month was £192.43. And to be honest, that has near enough been spent. We had to book the train for Liverpool that we're going to, so that's what that money was for. I also bought something um, for myself for this channel, which I'm excited about. So I'll show you that when that comes and that costs some money and just some little bits and bobs to help out my family. So the money basically goes, but I'm so glad that I had the savings there just in case. So that's super. So that is my budget all closed out. As you can see, overall I was under budget by quite a lot. And this is when it becomes confusing that I was over budget in categories, but my income still covers the amount that I spent. So, this is all completed, my weekly check-in, my transaction log is all completed, my home fund. If you have not already seen this video, I'll link it in the cards up above. I still have one page left in my budget planner and I'm not sure what to do with it. If you have any ideas of what I could do every month at the end on this page, please link it down below. I guess it could be my sinking funds that I didn't do this month. Maybe that's why I have a page left over. But I also want to show you my dashboards for the month of July. So I loved the way this turned out. I'm definitely going to keep up this layout for future months. So I had important, I had a next month, which I filled out. So I have my little cousin's birthday, my mum and dad's anniversary, I have schools going back and then our house form is due. So you have to pick our floors and everything. So that's due back then. I also had my monthly goals, which I am happy to say that I reach both goals. So my goal for YouTube, I was currently at 113 at the start of the month. My goal was 140. As of right now, I have 175. So well surpassed my goal. I can't believe it. I'm so excited and thank you so much if you are subscribed. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. My next goal is going to be 200, so please help me get to that. For Instagram, I was currently at 172 and I want, sorry, 152 and I wanted to get to 170. I will surpass that. I think I'm more into the 200s, maybe 200 odd. I'm not sure the exact number, but I'm definitely excited for that. So I liked having the goals because it gave me something to work towards. I'm that type of person. But we do have to fill out my little spending tracker down here. So I decided on my dashboard I wanted to have an overview so that every month I can see which category I'm overspending in, which category I'm under, and I can adjust the numbers accordingly. So allowance, let's check my actual for allowance was 158 and six pence. So, 158 and 6 pence for food, it was £39 and 4 pence. For petrol, it was 
56, yep, 56. For stickers, it was 145.16. And for spending, it was £41 and one pence. I had no unbudgeted for this month, which is super. That's what I like to see. And I am just going to write beside it plus or minus. So if it's plus something, I'm going to use my red pen. If it's minus, I'll use my black. So I'm just going to turn this little iPod back on for us to do this. So I wonder if I can zoom you in just a little bit. So one five eight pound six pence take away one hundred twenty. I was over by thirty eight pound six pence. I'm gonna do all the ones that I was over because I have my red pen out. So let's start. So this one I was over by one pound fifty six stickers. I was over, wasn't I? So one. Four five sixteen take away oh one four five sixteen take away and twenty I was over by twenty five pounds sixteen pence so that's all the ones I was over I was under for food with ninety six pence left over and for spending forty one pence under by 38.99. Super, so that's that all filled out. I love the way my dashboard looks and I also want to show you, I've got a couple of days left, but this is what I decided to do with this page. I absolutely love it. So every day I wrote down a little memory or something to remind me of that day. And I did try to do some little doodles, but I'm not the best artist, so please don't judge that, but I love these, so like when I reached 100 subscribers, it's time with my family, time with Thomas, um, when we were working, when my giveaway closed, um, family time, when I wrote my pen pal letter, I'm going out for lunch with my family, on this day my car needed fixed, we needed a new brake light, so I put that in, um, when I pre-filmed I sometimes added two days together, so I pre-filmed over those two days all day, so that was a lot. Uh, we went travelling then to see Thomas's friends, we had a little party. It was raining so heavy these two days, and then when we came home. So I have three days left, but I love the way this looks. So that is that. That is my dashboards all filled out my monthly view and my budget all closed out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a thumbs up, comment down below how your budget went this month. I would love to hear that. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I'd love to have you here. But thank you all again for watching and I see you in my next video. Have a magical day, guys. Bye.